Thank you for tuning in with me today. I'm Washayla Sananda, and today's topic is directly from some of the comments that I've had on recent videos, and it's about the fifth dimension of reality and higher, and what is it like in the fifth dimension? More specifically, do we need things like houses, cars, clothing, stuff? We're going to need the same stuff that we need in 3D. So I'm going to talk about that today on a couple of different levels. So when you think of dimensions of reality, we're really talking about layers or levels of consciousness. It's less physical as we move up in frequency, as we ascend our frequency, we have less density. So less physical matter exists the more we move up in frequency. This is why also um, things move faster in higher dimensions of reality. So what it takes, the amount of time and effort that it takes for us to create in the third dimension is much shorter when we move up to the fifth dimension and higher realms, higher dimensions of reality. It takes a, a long time. I guess we can think of it in the terms of time. It takes a long time to get from where you are to where you wanna be. Now, as we raise up in our frequency, that time shortens the time from thinking and, and working on your manifestation mentally and taking the action shortens so that you get there quicker. And then again, as we move up, we'll say we're, we're moving up into fifth dense, uh, fifth dimension of reality. So in fifth dimension, we are much faster and th this works both positively and negatively where if you have negative thoughts they're going to come to faster and here's the way that i see it other teachers other people might explain it differently this is my personal perspective so anything that i say is from my perspective unless i'm specifically telling you it's from someone else the way i see it is we're on a um, kind of like a pendulum or we are swinging up and down in consciousness all the time. We are moving. We're not in a static place. So as we move up in frequency, we move down in density and we lessen our 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 density, the amount of density that we carry with us in our bodies. And so we are at this time on planet earth that the earth is ascending and humanity has this opportunity to ascend as well. And the way that we do that, the way that we move up in frequency is we can, and one of the ways that really helps to make things go faster for you is that you lighten your density by clearing your emotional load, your emotional baggage, the stuff that you've been holding on to. And this means things like forgiveness, not holding grudges, letting go of, you know, past upsets, past traumas, forgiving anybody that you feel has victimized you uh, and, and allowing yourself to feel that let it come up and let it come out. Clearing that old emotional density will actually make you lighter from the inside out. This creates space for your physical body to hold more light. And the more light that we hold in our physical bodies, the more able we are for to ascend our frequency, the frequency of our physical bodies and the amount of spiritual energy that we are able to hold as a light being in a physical body. And so this is the ascension process. And uh, hopefully the way that I explain it, I have a, a knack for being able to explain things in kind of layman's terms in a way that most people can can understand it. It's, it's not that difficult uh, to understand that we must clear out the heaviness, the stuff, the, the like kind of like the murky water in order to, we just like a filter, right? We got to filter the water 
get the, the toxins and the junk out of it in order to have clean, pure water. We've got to filter out the heavy stuff that we've been carrying around in order to make space for more light in our body, in our physical structure. And then bringing more light in means that we have um, less density. We are able to hold a higher frequency as we're able to uh, adjust and hold these higher frequencies of light. Our consciousness is aligned to that. This isn't this isn't an either, or this isn't like you only have to do the emotional work. This is a, you're doing your emotional clearing. You're also working on your mental, your way of your mental behavior, your mental, the way that you think thoughts, the way that you perceive the world, the way that you process information is incredibly relevant to your ascension, ascending your frequency, because every thought that you think carries a frequency, every action that you take in every word that you say are all carrying frequency. They're part of what makes you the frequency that you are. And it's where uh, you are always projecting your consciousness. You're projecting your consciousness out to the universe. The universe receives it and projects it back. That's kind of the easiest way to think of it. It's all you. It's all me. We're all the same one being at the highest level, but in these independent individualized bodies, individualized fragments of the divine, we get to experience ourselves as if we are separate from the one. And then everything, we're still connected to it, of course. So every thought we think, every perception that we have, every action, every word is moving out, connecting with the divine outside of us, which is all truly inside of us, but we're projecting it out and that's being received and projected back. So if you're, let's say from manifestation purposes, if you're having thoughts, intentional thoughts, you're doing your affirmations in the morning and you're focusing on the life that you most desire to create, for instance, you're focused on, I am choosing to bring in my perfect aligned divine love partner. And you're also focused on something like uh, the, the perfect house that you want, your, your dream home, maybe it has an ocean view, mine certainly does, um, or in a pool and a, you know, a place to entertain, things like that. So you're putting these frequencies out, right? If you're doing that intentionally, you're, you're writing things down, you're journaling, maybe you're making a vision board, however you're doing that, going about those things, um, you're putting that out to the universe to receive and send back to you. However, if on the side, maybe subconsciously, maybe consciously sometimes, but mostly subconsciously, you might be putting out thoughts like, oh, I'm never going to find, no, cancel, clear all this, but <laughs> you might be putting out thoughts um, like, I'm never going to find that person, or I'm not worthy, or I, I don't know how I'll ever have enough money to afford a house like that. Um, lack consciousness thoughts, fill in the blank, whatever that might be. So when you, even if it's subconscious, even if you're not aware of it, when you're putting out thoughts like that, they're being received by the universe and sent back to you, just like your conscious intentional thoughts are. However, we operate as human beings. I think it's 80%, 70 to 80%, maybe even more subconsciously. So you might be stating one or two statements around the things that you do want to create with intention, and then you might be generating a hundred or 200 or 500 subconscious thoughts that are blocking that or that are in the app opposite of that. So of course that's going to make the time that it takes to manifest those things way longer and you're going to be in the way of it. So how can we remedy this? make yourself conscious of your thoughts. It's called mindfulness and there are lots of different ways to do it. 
becoming conscious of what you're thinking and catching yourself. It's not just, not just the awareness of it, catching yourself and then intentionally shifting your behavior, your perception, your attitudes. So I had a recent video where I talked about, um, after another, uh, love relationship that did not, uh, work out, I realized that the universe is my beloved and this is a shift in consciousness. So this is where I decided that everything that happens to me is my beloved giving me opportunities, gifts, uh, coming to me in all of these various different ways, because the universe is my beloved and the universe loves me and is always taking care of me giving me opportunities. So this is also true of any category of thought. Maybe it's what you're desiring to manifest. Maybe it's money for you. Maybe it's your spiritual path. Maybe you're wanting to be more connected to the divine. The divine wants to connect with you. You can shift those thoughts when you become conscious of it. And here's the thing. It's, it's this, um, it's the yin and yang. It's just intimately connected that when you raise the frequency of the thoughts you're thinking, you raise the frequency of the words you're saying, you raise the frequency of your physical body. And this is also, you know, taking care of your body in a physical way, feeding it good foods, getting exercise, doing all the things to, that you know your body needs to be a healthy body, a healthy container of your divinity. Um, and then that as you're doing those things, that is naturally going to ascend your consciousness into a higher level. So it's not this static third dimension, fifth dimension. It's this bridge, you know, and we're, we're moving between the dimensions. Maybe you're moving into higher dimensions as well, all of the time. And so you might not even realize it. It's sometimes it's imperceptible. I know there are a lot of um, teachers out there saying there, there's going to be a big event. There might be a big event um, where we suddenly shift and, and yay, that would be great. I hope that's true. However, I'm not going to bank on that. I'm not going to wait to shift my consciousness for, I'm not going to wait for anything outside of myself to happen. I'm going to do that internal work every single day. And as many times as I can become conscious of it every single day, because Ascension is an inside job. And so what I mean by that, even if there was a big event, a solar flash, um, the second coming of Christ, well, Christ is here, (laughs) Christ didn't go anywhere, definitely is the second coming, but we'll just say a savior comes from the sky to save us or, or whatever version of that. Uh, you view as, as reality, great, wonderful. How are you going to be prepared for that? And that preparation is moment by moment by moment, thought, word, and deed. And it's those little tiny things that you think and do and say every moment of every day that add up to the place where you are at the end of the day, right? So And at the end of the week and the end of the month and the end of the year, and at the time when maybe that big event happens, this is your assessment. And it's not a judgment from the divine, similar to gravity. Gravity works, whether you're young or old, rich or poor, doesn't care. Gravity is just behaving as gravity, unless you're somebody who's really adept and has overcome the laws of gravity, which can happen. And then you can levitate and bilocate and things like that. But most of us aren't there yet. We can, we can do those things as we raise up people that are doing that aren't in the lower and middle third dimension of reality. They're at the upper and they're moving into fifth and they're probably uh, operating in multiple higher dimensions of reality as well, because they have cleared all that density. They've worked through all those thoughts that say you can't, or anything that's lack consciousness, they've overcome that. And now they can have access to the third dimension and the fifth dimension, probably the higher dimensions as well. So to go back to the original question, do we need stuff? Do we need cars, houses, things like that in the higher dimensions of reality? We are still ourselves in the fifth dimension. We're still going to have our bodies. They might appear differently. 
how nice if we all look, you know, perfect. <laughs> um, but regardless of what we look like or how we change, we are still going to have bodies as we move into fifth dimension of reality. We are still going to have um, things to operate. Our things are going to correspond with our consciousness, just like they do here in this if we want to call this the third dimension of reality. So what I mean by that, if you think of someone who, and there's no judgment in this, I'm just going to compare lifestyles. Okay. Somebody who lives, um, with a really, really, really dirty house. Um, maybe they have rats or cockroaches and they don't care and things everywhere and it's messy and they're, you know, they don't pick up anything and there's rotting food and, and dishes in the sink and, you know, things are spoiled and maybe it smells bad. No judgment. That is a projection of a certain type of consciousness. I've watched the hoarders episodes. Um, a lot of people that live that way, they don't even see it. They don't even realize that there's a problem. That's just how they live. They're comfortable. Um, that's where they're at. Right. So we can think of that as maybe super low third dimension of reality. It's a lot of matter, a lot of density, a lot of mass things are kind of mucky there. Right. And then as the, I'll just use hoarders as an example, because it's a great, um, it's a great way to make this correlation. So people come in outside help comes in, uh, gives them support and help. There's a transformation that happens. Those people struggle a lot. Most of them go through a real emotional clearing. Um, that's not always comfortable. Nobody said it was going to be to realize, oh, this is, this is not this way of living is not only not healthy for me, it's affecting my neighbors. It's affecting my family. It's affecting my relation. It affects everything. So I mean, in some cases it's so bad that their house might be destroyed. Um, so it's a, the way that you're being is always affecting everybody. It's always affecting everybody, not just you just know that no matter, even if you're at the higher dimensions of reality, you're connected to oneness. So you are always affecting everybody. And we just don't realize that most of the time. So as they raise up less, there's less stuff. There's a clearing that happens. They take away tons of garbage out of these people's houses and yards. And then the people have this opportunity to live in this clear space. And they might look around and be like, oh, wow, this is beautiful. I love it. It feels so clean. The air is fresh. It smells better. It feels better. I didn't even realize how, how much that was bringing me down, but now I feel uplifted. That sometimes happens. And sometimes they kind of freak out and they revert back and say, oh, I miss my stuff. And they start accumulating stuff again and, and do the same thing all over. And, um, that's remaining in, in, you know, where you are not willingness to change, but we can think of this as similar to moving from the higher third dimension to the fifth dimension. Yes, we will still have things, but we won't need as much stuff. We won't need to collect or hoard. We won't need to accumulate things. We hopefully everybody will be more interested in sharing. Again, if you're not, you might move down in dimension. This is like gravity. It's just going to put you where you are uh, according to the frequency that you are behaving at, that you are being at, that you are projecting in thought, word, and deed. The frequency that you hold is the frequency that you're at. So you can simultaneously be at a higher dimension of reality, you can be at 5D and interact with someone who's in 3D. You can some, you know, sometimes those people are not even going to notice you because you're at a different frequency of reality. You know, we might not ever interact if we're at completely different frequencies. You might walk by someone out on the street and not even notice them because you're at a different frequency. However, when you meet someone or walk by someone that's at the same frequency as you are at the frequency that you are going to, that you're connected with, that your intention is at, then you're going to connect and feel a connection, feel a, a, a communion, a connectedness. You're going to say, oh, wow, I like, I feel this person. I get this person. I want to know this person. Or, you know, this is usually our friendship circles are comprised of people that were at the same frequency at and 
as we shift and change and move up, some of those people don't, some of those people don't move up. Some of those people go down. Some of those people fall out of our reality because we no longer have common ground in our frequency projections and experience of reality. So uh, yes, we will still have things. We will still have stuff. We won't need as much stuff. And as you move up, higher and higher frequencies of reality, you will not need anything at all because you'll become light and light just doesn't need anything to exist, right? As long as we have physical bodies, we're still going to use stuff. We're still going to need ways to get around until we learn to bilocate or until we learn to do teleportation. Um, we're still going to need transportation. We're still going to find ways to get around. Maybe we have lighter ways like flying. That's what Ishmael said in his interview. We'll all fly around in hovercraft. That would be fun. Maybe we won't use cars that need gasoline to operate anymore. And maybe we'll use some sort of free, uh, technology and energy that doesn't require, um, the same kind of fuel that we use here in the third. Um, so we will still wear clothing. I like to think that our clothing will ascend with our consciousness that will, everything we wear will be compatible with the earth, will be organic fibers, will be um, dyes that aren't chemical, that aren't poisoning the, um, the earth and of high vibration and high consciousness, high frequency. Um, you know, there is a difference between vibration and frequency. So high frequency, high consciousness, uh, clothing, high consciousness, everything, all the stuff that we have. And there will be a lot more conscious intention programmed into everything that we do as we raise in frequency, which you don't have to have an event for. You can start right now. You can always start in the moment that you're in by having an intention, starting your day with an intention, stating an intention throughout the day, going to sleep with an intention. And then when your thoughts, when you catch yourself thinking outside of that intention, thinking lack consciousness thoughts, you can bring yourself back. Don't judge yourself. Don't belittle yourself, love yourself through it and choose a higher frequency thought. Some, I'd love to just go into some uh, I am statements, some statements around choosing those higher frequency thoughts. If you'd like to tune in with me for a moment, you can close your eyes. Take some deep breaths into the belly. And then tune in to the central sun source of light for this universe and find yourself inside central sun, the source light of creation, and simultaneously find yourself inside the center of the earth, in the Akashic realm, receiving whatever information is relevant to your ascension process at this time, simultaneously receiving the divine frequency light codes of central sun of divine creative energy above, below, and within. And now bring those energies together in your heart, tuning in to your heart center, making contact with the light in your heart. And from your heart center, find perfect alignment, your spine, perfect alignment of your energy centers. I am one with the creator. I express creative energy through my physical form in thought, word, and action. I allow the divine light to come into my body to activate my heart center, to ascend the frequency of my physical body, clearing out the density, the old energies that are no longer serving me, 
so that I may hold a higher frequency of light. And now take a deep breath into your heart center here, breathing in the light of central sun. And simultaneously exhale and breathe in the liquid crystal plasma from the center of the earth, the creative energy of the divine feminine, sparked by the divine light, the masculine of the central sun, coming together, amplifying and activating the divine child within your heart center. Whatever you choose to create in this reality is yours to create. When you align with divine will, and hold divine light in your heart. When you activate your heart center in alignment, in unity with service to all, you activate the frequency that you hold to a higher level, allowing yourself to clear the density, the trauma, the upsets, the negativity, just breathing it out through that light. And allowing yourself to expand to a higher level of light. Allowing the light to be an emanation of your radiant being. And your service in this light is blessing all who come into contact with it. It is also your etheric expression of being affecting all aspects of yourself in all dimensions of reality. And now again, tune into the heart center here choosing to connect with those higher frequency expressions of self. I am aligned to my highest conscious awareness. I am choosing the best actions that will create the outcomes that are for my highest good. And I may ascend and keep ascending this body, this mind, my emotions, and my way of being and holding light in every reality that I exist in. And I open my heart, my mind, and my physical body for the divine presence to enter into me that I may know myself as connected, as completely at oneness with divine light. And that I express my true nature through my being, through my body, through my cellular expression, and that it that enters into my DNA, and that this light activates all strands of DNA that are ready to be activated within me, to be repaired and upgraded, to come online and be actively ascending in every moment. I allow myself to see those places that I have been unconscious. I allow myself to become aware of my resistance and I choose to surrender that resistance so that I may see more clearly, so that I may see and feel the higher realms that I am able to access in this clarity. I allow myself to upgrade 
to align, to harmonize to the Christ consciousness that I am, allowing this divine consciousness to be evident through my words, through my mind and my thoughts, and through all that I do. I activate myself through my personal choice and my free will to the highest expression that I am capable of in this moment. And I allow this activation to ripple through every part of my being across all time, dimension, space, and reality now. And now bring your awareness back to your heart center, feeling that alignment, tunement, harmonization, feeling that upgrade, and allowing it to settle and anchor through your spinal column into the base of the spine, anchoring in to the planet Earth and anchoring into the ascended Earth, Terra, Sophia, the divine Christ light anchored through me into all aspects and expressions of Gaia, Earth, Terra, Sophia, rippling out across the universe, ascending in divine light, I am. Now take a deep breath, anchoring that into the base of the spine, feeling your spine rooted into the center of the earth, the crystal pyramid in the center of the earth, giving you access to groundedness and to your Akashic records as needed for your highest good and then expanding into the central sun feeling the central sun now move up back to its space above you you can imagine it above your head again you can imagine the earth below your feet and feel that divine line of clear united intention and harmony from above below and within you, anchoring now in your heart center, feeling the Christ light energy activating your heart more and more with every breath as you come to center in this ascended frequency. I love you. I cherish you. Thank you so much for joining me in this divine light transmission today. I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Get on my email list so that you can get notifications from me for all the wonderful things that I have going on. And we'll see you on the next video. Namaste.